Situated learning theory. How can integrating knowing with doing in real world situations affect our learning? Welcome to Ms. Bryant's Cloud. Let's take a closer look at this learning theory. So what exactly is situated learning theory? As referenced by Reiser and Dempsey, situated learning theory relies more on social and cultural determinants of learning than it does on individual psychology. Knowledge is presumed to accrue in meaningful actions that have relations to some cultural system. In other words, learning occurs when the learner puts knowledge into practice as a result of being introduced into a situation where it is necessary to apply the knowledge in order to function or move forward. Lave put it this way, one learns a subject matter by doing what experts in that subject matter do. It could be compared to on the job training, apply what you know and learn as you go. Here's a bit of history. Jean Lave and Etienne Wenger are credited for their work developing situated learning theory in the early 1990s. Some precursors to this theory would include the work of John Dewey's pragmatism theory and Lev Vygotsky's social development theory. Here's an example. Students in a third grade class are learning about place value and money using place value blocks, sorting mats, task cards, practice sheets, and other manipulatives. An instructor might craft a situated learning event to foster this type of objective in the form of a classroom economy or flea market activity. Students might create items to sell at the flea market. They'll need to price the items and be prepared to collect real money, make change, calculate profits and losses, determine costs, make comparisons amongst each other, and more. A working knowledge of skills such as constructing and deconstructing numbers using place value and counting back change will be helpful in this real world situation where they must apply those skills accurately in order to succeed as a small business owner. Like many other theories, situated learning theory contains similar components to other popular theories. For example, both behavioral learning theory and cognitive information processing theory regard the environment as playing an important role in learning. Additionally, similar to schema theory, learners draw from and build upon a bank of pre-filed knowledge when learning. Gagné's theory of instruction provides a more prescriptive set of nine guidelines focusing on teaching instruction. However, two of his events of learning specifically focus on activating prior knowledge of a subject and providing opportunities to practice the objectives by way of performance tasks. Finally, constructivism proposes that students build knowledge in a process of interacting with their learning environment with various degrees of support from an instructor. While this theory also contains similarities to situated learning theory, the role of the instructor differs.
If you'd like to know more, check out the resources and links connected to this video. There you'll find more history, suggested readings, and web resources. Thanks for hanging out on Miss Bryant's Cloud. Let's get connected on LinkedIn. Look for Chantel M. Bryant.